Hey everybody. <laughs> I'm back with another L doll unboxing. Another one that didn't come in a regular box. It just came in a bag inside of a Amazon bag. And uh, this one is for, um, I'm going to try and pronounce her name right. It's a uh, Philomenia or Philomenia. I'm thinking Philomenia sounds better. But um, I'm not sure which language it is, but it's a really pretty name. And I hated to butcher it if I was going to. Um, let's see here. So this girl, like the rest of them, has some crazy articulation. Let me just get this part off. Now, Philomenia seems to be the only one that is um, got the darker hair. So it's kind of a, um, maybe a light auburn, I'd say, hair color. And it's got a little bit of um, wave to it. And it's super, super long. It goes all the way down past her butt. Not as long as the mermaids that we've reviewed on this channel, but pretty long. And she has some really cool blue eyes. I think that's also a first. I think a lot of the other ones have had brown. But uh, you guys can notice that those are glass inset eyes. Um, this girl particularly does not have any, um, any rooted lashes. But she's got painted on lashes on the top and the bottom. And then she's got a really pretty um, pink... Um, eyeshadow that's on the bottom of her lashes on the top. Her um, her eyebrows are the same color as her hair, and she's got a really cool watermelon, a really nice watermelon pucker lips. So um, I think she's got a gorgeous face. I love this sculpt. Um, she's also light, like she's like a really really light pale color um, in complexion. Let's see, and then her outfit is a white dress and you can see like there's a lot of um blue like a blue ribbon on the top and it's sleeveless and she has like a blue paisley i guess type or flowers type going on and then she has um this tooling that goes around as ruffles on the bottom there's like three or four different layers it's super super cute and then she's also wearing um some white flat shoes nothing really fancy with the shoes um but the articulation is crazy on this girl uh, she reminds me a lot of um, Alice in Red that we unboxed uh, previously on this channel. Um, I'm going to link a playlist probably to all the the L dolls that I've um, unboxed on this channel. And uh, so you can take a look at those if you haven't. Um, the articulation on her, she has her head moves back and forth. Sorry. And up and down. So she's got all the movement in her head. Her shoulder joints uh, move up and down and back and forth. She has um, elbow joints that go in pretty far. They've been pretty far, and uh, you can go back and forth with those. So that's a possibility there. And she also has a fanned out finger, fanned out fingers, and then the wrist joints that go back and forth and up and down. I don't think she has anything at the waist. So nothing at the waist. But uh, she does have, um, you can make her sit. Or spread her legs out so that she's got the um, thigh joints you want to call it, and then she also has the knee joints that go that bend all the way back. Like you can have her kneel. Let's see if I can do that for you guys. So here she is. I, I kneel. I, I kneeled her for you. Um, see how they, they the knees have like a double joint that make them go back any even farther. So that's pretty cool. Um, I love 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 the posability in this doll and um. Her ankles, too. She has ankle joints that um, collapse pretty far back, so you can point your toes. Um, and also, um, in the back here, we should see somewhere around the butt area. All of the L dolls have a marking, so you know where they came from, I think. Yep, there's the, this L doll in the back, so that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, um, this one didn't come with anything, any kind of accessories or anything, but she didn't need it. The focus was on the doll. <laughs> let's get her, let's get her sitting up again. I just decided to put her, um, in a movement, uh, position for you guys so that, um, I could show you, um, her level of flexibility. Uh, so she's in, uh, she's sitting in a Indian style here, um. But uh, check out her hair. It's so soft and pretty. I can't... <laughs> I can't gather myself over this girl. She's so gorgeous. Uh, she's right up there with uh, some of the other more expensive dolls. And I think I think she was only about 23. 
She was about 23. I mean, ball jointed dolls, dolls with lots of joints are usually pretty expensive, so I think that she was pretty affordable, all in all. And uh, she's pretty well made for an, an, an underdog company. Um, like I said, if you want to, to grab pick her up, grab her. She's on, she's on um, Amazon.com right now. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.